Hi, I'm Ed Rideau from TFB TV, and we're out at Industry Day at the Range for SHOT Show 2017. I'm with Max from Tracking Point, and we're going to look at what they've got this new this year. So for this year, we have a new 300 blackout called the M400. It um, goes out to 400 yards. It's got a um, smaller handguard. It's a little bit more lightweight than our original uh, 300 blackout, so it's real easy to offhand. Uh, we've got uh, some software that's fairly new um, where you're tagging on trigger pull instead of using the tag button. Um, we've also got the M800, which is a 7.62. Um, that's going to be on the LMT platform. And um, we also have the M1400, which is a new bolt action that we made. It's about approximately 22 pounds, which is pretty, pretty Big. light. Yeah. Or, I, I have correction. Sorry, it's approximately 16 pounds. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so yeah. It, it's about the same weight as our 762. And it's a 338 Lapua, and that one goes out to 1,400 yards. Wow. So uh, it's our own chassis that we designed and, um, and machined, and it's real lightweight, uh, real small profile. It's a great gun, and um, it's something that you can take out hunting and actually hike around with as opposed to you know a 27-pound gun. Right, it's a range-specific kind of setup. Sure. Now, you mentioned a new uh, software setup. So is that something that can be rolled out to all the existing tracking point stuff? Absolutely. Um, the, new, the new software, uh, so instead of using your finger to go to the tag button, place a tag, and then go back to the trigger, there's, it can get a little bit confusing. In this case, you'll line on your reticle up with your target, squeeze the trigger to about half pull, it will populate a red dot. When you're ready to drop your tag, complete the pull all the way, and then realign, just like you would a normal uh, tracking point function. Um, so instead of having to find buttons and all that kind of thing, you just get on the trigger and set your tag. Cool. Um, and then the other thing that you've got out here is not necessarily for sale, but there's a couple of custom guns that you guys have done. Can you tell me a little bit about sure, those? Sure, sure. Um, the PJs, Air Force PJs, are going to be doing some uh, testing on our technology. So um, we've integrated our technology on some guns for them to use and test for um, their designated marksmen. And, and the PJs using it is pretty huge because their primary mission isn't um, designated marksmanship. They're out there trying to rescue and provide aid, and um, it gives them the ability to uh, not have to focus as much on their designated marksman techniques and be able to focus more on their, their pararescue techniques, uh, providing aid and rescuing people. So it's sort of a um, cut down in training so they don't have to spend too much time shooting. Right, so you can focus on the whole life-saving aspect. Right, right. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and can we shoot those? Absolutely, let's do it. Awesome. There you can see it says .2 in the top center. That's the tight kill zone. There you go. Oh, cool. There's a hit. There it is. Thanks for showing us that, Max. I really appreciate it. Um, and we'll have more from SHOT Show on the show floor all week this week.